It's back and better than I expected. We are taking a look at 14 plus creator benchmarks on the Asus Rogue Strix G17 for video editing, 3D modeling, motion design, and more. Let's get rocking. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. If you're curious about the exact pricing of the G17, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Also, if you wanna get a discount on this laptop, over at Computer Upgrade Kings, you can use the discount code BEN3, and that'll get you a discount code on the G17 or any other laptop channel over on Computer Upgrade Kings website. This laptop is just flat out awesome. I mean, even if you are a stark minimalist, you have to appreciate the RGB lighting wrapping 270 degrees of the keyboard deck. Although this is an entirely plastic build, Asus has done a great job tightly fitting the Strix G17. This laptop feels secure and durable. The hinge design remains the same as last year, which I am personally a fan of. Ever since they replaced that Strix Scar 2 hinge design, which I thought was less than ideal. The top cover on this laptop comes with a brush, plastic appearance, and texture, while also sporting the classic ROG face. This year's ports selection is found only on the back panel and left side panel. Now, as I always say about the ports, make sure you consider your own workflow. Some people might find ports more important than you, and those port selections need to be made by what you use on the day to day. Now, I will note that there is no SD card slot, which to me is disappointing, but this being a gaming laptop, that totally makes sense. The Strix G comes with an ample amount of ventilation along the bottom cover, back panel, as well as right behind the screen, which I like to call the ledge. I don't necessarily like the visual appearance of the ledge, but it does really well for cooling this laptop during heavy design and video editing projects. Speaking of cooling this laptop, make sure you hang on to the benchmark test as I'm going to cover the thermal performance, noise, and component usage of the Strix G17. As I open the lid of this laptop, which only requires one hand, I'm greeted by a massive 17.3 inch full HD display with 144 Hertz refresh rate and a response time of three milliseconds. Concerning the brightness and quality of the screen, it can reach 325 nits at full brightness and has a color gamut range of 98% sRGB, 75% Adobe RGB, and 75% DCI P3 at an average Delta E of 1.95. For a gaming laptop, I'm really impressed by this screen's brightness and color gamut range. Now, this is a really important note I want you to consider. The Strix G15 does not have the same screen quality. If you are considering the Strix G15, I've made a brief head-to-head -head video comparison that you can check out in the YouTube cards above. But for brevity's sake, note that the Strix G15 can only reach 250 nits at full brightness and has a color gamut range of 60% sRGB and 38% Adobe RGB. Why Asus does not equip their G15 with a better screen at the base model is beyond me. And if you go over to that video, you'll actually note that you can get an upgraded screen, but you wanna make sure that you get the screen with the right specs. So head on over and check out that video after you finish this one. Okay, lest I digress, let's move forward. If you have seen my previous review of the Strix G, you know that I am a big fan of the keyboard. It is well spaced out, quiet, and has a nice, soft, but snappy key press. It is a longer key press than your average thin and light laptop, which on the Strix G17 feels just right. The trackpad is also one of the aspects that I like a lot about this laptop. While designing and editing, I often get a little annoyed when the click is on the trackpad, as it can cause errors when I'm trying to, to drag and drop items or creating shapes within Illustrator or InDesign. The dedicated right and left click buttons alleviate this struggle. Now, one cool thing to note is you do have some neat shortcuts on the keyboard deck. You can open your snippet tool, boost your fan, or go to quiet mode, switch on airplane mode, as well as have music controls directly on the keyboard. Honestly, the more I use this laptop, the more I feel it would make for a great semi-permanent workstation. Maybe you're usually in the office, but occasionally you want to move around. It is well suited for that. Speaking of moving this laptop around, let's talk about that. This laptop weighs in at 6.2 pounds and is 1.02 inches thick. 
It comes with a 66 watt hour battery, which will provide you with roughly five hours of web browsing battery life and two to three hours of design or video editing tasks. Do note that the Strix G17 does not come with a webcam. So if you're someone that needs to be in weekly virtual meetings, this is not the laptop for you. That is unless you purchase an external webcam. Without further delay, let's dive into the performance section of this video. The Asus Strix G comes in a variety of configurations from 16 gigs of RAM all the way up to 64 gigs of RAM. The Strix G I'm reviewing comes with the Intel 10th Gen Core i7-10750H with 6 cores and 12 threads, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 with 8 gigs of GDDR6, a RAM setup of 64 gigs DDR4 and 2 terabytes of NVMe SSD. Side note, I think this laptop would perform great in the 32 gig variant if you are looking to save a little bit of money on this laptop. I have put together a few head-to-head -head reviews with this laptop as well, so if you want to check those out, you can see them in the YouTube cards above. Starting things off, we are going to look at the Photoshop benchmarks. I use Photoshop benchmarks to see how well this laptop can handle the most intense tool in Adobe's design suite. If a laptop can perform well in Photoshop, it will handle InDesign and Illustrator with ease. As you can see, this laptop is sitting comfortably in the middle of these benchmarks at a 679 score, making it a very suitable laptop for photo editing and graphic design. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value, then make sure to gently press down on that like button and let me know how you plan on using this laptop by dropping a comment below. If you want to get more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Okay, let's get back into the video. Starting off, let's take a look at Geekbench and Cinebench R20 scores. With a single core score of 1,221, currently the Strix G17 is snagging third place in the review lineup. And with a multi-core score of 6,554, it is also grabbing the third place spot there as well in my benchmarking tests. For Cinebench R20, the Strix G17 lands in fifth place with a score of 3,101. I've heard a lot of requests for motion design benchmarks and 3D modeling, so as you wish, here they are. In Autodesk 3DS Max, we're seeing a 154.31. In Autodesk Maya, we're seeing a 177.5. In PTC Creo, we're seeing a 148.53. And in SolidWorks, we're seeing a 70.47. Now, one thing to note is that there will be more laptops with more reviews coming your way with 3D modeling, but for now, these are the laptops I have, and these are the laptops that you can see comparisons between on the charts. The Strix G17 snags one of the top spots in every 3D modeling test I put it through compared to all of the reviews I have done with those benchmarks. More models will be added to the list as I continue to review more laptops on my channel. For After Effects benchmarking tests, it came in at 778, and the After Effects render test came in at 664. This laptop makes a suitable match for your 3D modeling and motion design needs. Now on to the most important benchmarks for me personally, video editing. The Strix G17 can play back full quality 4K footage in the Premiere Pro timeline without any dropped frames, thanks to the powerful RTX 2070 GPU. Concerning the rendering of motion design effects, I was able to render out 7,240 frames in just 3 minutes and 18 seconds, which is quite a bit faster than the average laptop on my channel. Now let's dive into the 4K exporting benchmarks. I'm going to take a 9 minute 4K clip, place it into Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, and then export it out at 4K and 1080p YouTube settings. Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export can handle that in 2 minutes and 49 seconds, and DaVinci Resolve can handle the 4K to 4K export in 9 minutes and 47 seconds. If you want to save a little bit of time and export out to 1080p, the Premiere Pro 4K to 1080p export can handle that in 0.56 seconds, and the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 1080p export is 4 minutes and 11 seconds. My hat is off to the G17. That is the second fastest export time I've ever seen on my channel, just behind the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. No review would be complete without going over the thermal noise and component usage of this laptop. I'm not gonna lie, this laptop was a little noisy. At idle, the fan noise usually held around 37 decibels. During the Photoshop benchmarks, we saw an average of 57 decibels. On the Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export, we saw 56 decibels. And for DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K, we saw 58 decibels. However, I will note that the fan did a good job of cooling the components, as you can see in the following thermal benchmark chart. 
And now for the component usage during each of these main tests, here are the charts. I am once again impressed by the Asus ROG Strix G17. Not only did they stay on par with their build quality, but they also raised the bar in the performance category of this laptop, smashing last year's benchmarks. So if you're looking for a semi-permanent workstation that runs cool, fast, and provides excellent color accuracy, oh, and let us not forget about the fantastic RGB accents, then you will do well picking up the Asus ROG Strix G17. If you're curious about the exact pricing or you're ready to pick it up, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase of that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And as always, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. And don't forget about the discount code BEN3 if you want to save a little money over at Computer Upgrade Kings. If you want to watch more videos about the Asus Strix G17, you can click or tap the screen here. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I will see you here in the next video.